my name is Ella and I work for the Tobro and today I'm super excited because my boyfriend and I are going to be going to Nails by Tobro to get a couple's manicure and pedicure. I guess my socks too. Yeah, we just have a seat in your couple. Yeah, you got to take off the socks. <laughs> oh, yeah. Seven, yeah. <laughs> so who, who made you come here? This was an offer from Ella yeah. to you, and we gladly accept it. <laughs> okay, so we see the face. Now let's see the toes. Let's see how these, how these man toes are doing. Oh, man. Ooh, what happened to that guy there? Yeah, what happened? This one here? Yeah. yeah. I have no idea. It's been like that forever. Ella said maybe you could have a look. But as long as I can remember, it's just a lot drier. Mm -hmm. And does it always have that lifted portion at the very top? Like on this, the left big one? On the nail here? On the nail. No, I don't think so. Okay, that's something new? Yeah. Okay, so we'll talk quickly about that, what's happening on the, the tip of the toe, uh -huh. or the knuckle of the toe. What happens, your toe's probably curling, it's just rubbing against you. Right. Yeah. So you gotta make sure that you're really moisturizing that a lot more than the other one. For some reason, you're putting more pressure on your left foot. Uh -huh. It's probably gripping the ground more, and that's why you're just getting that friction. Yeah. Um, moisturizing is gonna be really important for you. You see, it's not too bad, but you see how you have a little bit of a bump? Yeah. A, a little bit of a bunion, and the toe's going a little bit sideways. That's why the toes are squishing together. Right. And that's all just a combination of your foot position. You, you're a stylish guy, I'm sure. You gotta wear wide shoes and deep. Yeah. The thinner they are, the more the toes gonna scrunch up. The more, you know, corns, the calluses you're gonna get, and the knuckles gonna get dry. Some people have that on every single knuckle. But you're just a big toe. Uh huh. Are you a sports guy? No, Dress but shoe I do guy? a physical job. Okay. So, yeah, I'm always lifting, moving things. And I think it's just again the knuckles just rubbing too much against the shoe. Right. So gotta be really careful about the footwear. Yeah. So what's going to happen, Dorothy's going to do her thing, you know, she's going to talk a lot about, you know, the, the different aspects of a pedicure. You've never had one before, so you don't know what's good or what's bad. Uh, uh, warm, I thought he's ice cold. That is okay with me. And I'm going to sanitize myself and you with some rubbing alcohol. Perfect. Yeah, big thing, I mean, just to know that liner is really important because a lot of other places, they don't have a liner. Mm -hmm. So it's the same bowl, same jet. And if they're not sterilizing or disinfecting properly, that can cause a lot of cross contamination. So right. this, this is a big, big thing to have. Yeah, no, that makes me feel very safe. Of course, right? When you wrap it up, everything's safe. That's right. <laughs> Fantastic pedicure. Did <laughs> <laughs> you put this foot in for me? This one here? Temperature's okay? Yep. I keep this one up. Perfect. All right. So, as you'll notice, all our products here have been prepackaged. So, everything in this pouch here contains a porous material, which means we cannot thoroughly clean them, so we just dispose of them. Everything in this sterilization pouch has been sanitized, disinfected, and sterilized. We use the same method that the foot clinic does to take care of our tools so there's no chance of cross contamination. State of the art. <laughs> Alice said only the best for you, so that's why. <laughs> I appreciate her. <laughs> oh, extra points. <laughs> So that I, I won't tag you in any videos because then all the girls are going to start messaging you. So <laughs> Ella told me that I was not allowed to do that. He's very protective. Okay. Sounds like <laughs> By trimming your toenails. Super important when it comes to the toenails, you want to keep them square and straight. Uh -huh. So especially with the big guys, with the, this one here. So I'm noticing that your two corners are starting to poke out. Do you have any ingrown pain or anything? Is it a little bit tender here? Nothing, no. Okay. I've noticed. 
So I don't like to go beyond kind of this point here because as the nail starts to grow out, you kind of see it here because of the dip. This corner is usually what starts to poke first. And right. that's what people get this the tender sensation. They think it's an ingrown, but it's usually just the corners kind of giving. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna maintain the length and I'm gonna make it square across. And then I'm just gonna curve the corners so you don't have this sharp, jagged edge poking into your skin, okay? That sounds amazing. Great. So do you prefer your toes nail like shorter or a little yeah. bit of length? Or as, short, as short as you can Shorter the better? Yeah, okay. He likes his toenails like he likes his hair short. That's right. <laughs> so fourth year, what what program again? I'm in accounting currently. Uh huh. Yeah. Good with the numbers, so they say. I try. <laughs> Any co-op for your program, or you just straight four years and then you're done? Yeah, just the four years and then I'm done. Yeah. I was and you into getting my real estate license. Yep. But. Yeah. Uh, quite a bit of a process as now as it was like compared to a couple years ago. It, it's much different now. Yeah. The fees and the, the amount of tests you have to do. Yep, the, the length of the whole program now. Before you could do it online in a few weeks and now there was too many, right? So that's the plan. And you're at Western too? No, I go to Guelph. Well, so you guys are not even at the same school from the beginning. Yeah, but we live 10 minutes apart from each other at home. Oh, okay. And yeah, we've known each other for a while. Really? Yeah. Well, oh, that's good. I'm noticing you have some, like, a little bit of red marks on your toes. Mm -hmm. Do you have polish on your toes? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it. I lived in my, my toes a couple <laughs> weekends ago when so we went up north. That's <laughs> what that red mark was. <laughs> Ella, what are you doing putting nail polish on your man? I just wanted to try it, okay? He thought it was okay. And how'd you do? <laughs> Not good, huh? I think so. Stick to not talking and just staying in your room and and not laughing at any of my jokes. She's in a lot of my videos and she no one even knows she's there. Because she doesn't things. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here you go, bye. Oh my god. Like I said, I'm easy, so. Yeah, you stole Ella from me because I was hoping that she'd help me out more, but she's always going up <laughs> somewhere on the weekends. Oh man, I'm sorry about that. No, you're not. No. <laughs> <laughs> not at all. But it's good. Enjoy the summer while you guys are young. That's the time. That's right. Yeah, because once you start working life, life is done. Tough to get away. Yes. I've been told to make the most of these years, right? Sounds so young. How old are you? 21. Oh, okay. <laughs> Make the most of your life, and you got to grow. But geez, come on, Evan. Be smart, man. Well, I told I told Ella he's he's done. Let him be. You guys, you guys had your fun together, and you know. <laughs> I I tease her a lot. She's special, you know. <laughs> Do you know how you? Know, I'm sure Ella told you how she got a job here. Yeah, through, I mean, I think her mom knew And dad, yeah. New York. Dad, parents. Right? Uh, patients, yeah, they're both patients and, you know, they were vouching for her, so I took a chance. Right, right, right. Yeah, I heard she was hired on the spot. <laughs> Ella doesn't know this, but they actually pay me to take her because they want her out of the house. <laughs> <laughs> they pay me, that's why. <laughs> Seems like she has a pretty sweet gig over Yeah, that's what I did. Yep, she just... I'm jealous. She just messaged you all day in her room. <laughs> <laughs> When's the last time you cut your toenails? Mainly this one. Maybe uh, a couple weeks ago. A couple weeks ago? Okay, so I'm going to try to really bring back the squared shape to it, given just how much of a length we have. So the main thing is square and straight. So as the nail starts to push out, when we file it and we have it in a straight uh, square shape, kind of teaches the nail where to go, it guides it to grow out straight, rather than when you do, when you cut, usually the guys when they cut their toenails, they kind of do like a half nail. They want to get rid of this white part completely, so it causes the nail to curl. And then the corners take it as a free-for-all and it kind of wraps and it warps, right? I'm guilty. <laughs> I am too. I do the half moon. I, I do like zero moon, I just take it all off. Jonathan takes it all off yeah. and he's like, make it look nice. I'm like,
because we just want the nails cut, but it actually can create a lot of problems. I mean, so it's, it's giving you really good info. I've what? already learned more than I thought I would say. Seriously. <laughs> what do you think of the, the location? Being in a, is this your first time going into a salon? Nail salon? I believe so, unless I was really young with my mom, yeah. And how, how, sure. what, how does it feel to be in a place like this? Does it feel... It's beautiful. I mean, like, you got the floor-to-ceiling windows, you got a lot of light in here, you got the mirrors. Oh, you're, you're ready like, for I, real estate. You're ready for real estate. I'm yep. like, you're ready to make it a switch. <laughs> I like the colors, you know. Are you going to do nail polish today? I don't... I don't I'm <laughs> Ella, Ella was talking about something called a clear coat that might protect my nails a little bit longer. Oh, okay. It doesn't look like anything, but... Oh, she's know. selling you on the services, huh? <laughs> so we can definitely do that, or we can try a couple other products for you. Um, one thing I was going to definitely recommend if you want to do polish, I was going to put a, a nail tincture on for you. I basically call it vitamins in a bottle, just vitamins for your nails. Key ingredient is biotin, which is really good for the nails. I am going to rough up the nail surface a little bit so that way you can actually penetrate it. You don't have to do a top coat if you don't want to because it's a little bit more glossy. Apply some cuticle oil on and just really mas like massage the product into your feet. Sounds sure, good yeah, that, that sounds really good. Ella has also told us that we're doing a uh, toe waxing after. Um, <laughs> we're doing it to you and me together, same time. No problem, I can do that. <laughs> Wax our feet now? Just <laughs> put a little thing there and just... <laughs> I, listen, I'm, I'm up for anything. <laughs> People are really mean on, on my YouTube channel because like, uh, even we all have toe hair, but women rip us up for that. But we're, we're guys. That's what we do, right? That's how it is. So have you ever seen any of my videos? Bits and pieces. Okay. I always watch them a few times in front of me and sometimes I gotta look away, but <laughs> <laughs> no, it's all interesting stuff. It's just you've got some extreme cases on there. I do, <laughs> I do. But a lot of people don't have extreme cases like you, right? So this is why I kind of created a place like this where Let's say every now and then, now and then you want to just have a good foot care service to make sure everything's doing well. Yeah. You can come here and you can get the education, you can get the treatment you need without having to see a foot specialist. And then if there was something going on, Dorothy and Natalia can kind of see that and then refer you to, to go over afterwards. So that's why it's, we're working um, hand in hand or foot in foot. <laughs> see, at least you laugh at my jokes. Ella does not laugh at anything I say. Ella's very, like, straight. She's, She's like, no, so that's it. Small trouble. 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 Yeah, she, yeah. She laughs with her eyes. No, those are just her eyelashes blinking. <laughs> <laughs> I have to, I have to go to the eyelashes. Hmm. Oh, my. <laughs> Well, she's just tiny, so they look bigger than they really are, that's all. <laughs> Dorothy's there too, I'm gonna get Dorothy's, oh yeah. Hey, you should have caught them when they were like 19 millimeters. Your too? So what's really cool about this um, chair is you still get bubbles. So there's still that disposable plumbing to give you that sensation of bubbles, get that nice feeling, but then everything gets disposed of. So it really reduces, um, you know, gucked up pipes and all that stuff, or jets that aren't being cleaned properly. That's perfect. Yeah, it's I mean, pretty cool. Saves you huge on maintenance in the long run, right? Yeah, it, it, you're right. Win win. Oh, and of course, that's that's what the accountant would say, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess uh, I do have a more more so my business perspective when I look at a lot of things. <laughs> Are you looking to work for? A firm or a company? Are you going to go solo? What, what's what's the idea? What's the plan? I I'm not too sure. I'm honestly not too sure as of now. But um, I want to work for a bit and travel and then. Get work or travel? Things. Which one is it? A little bit of both. I want to use my languages, you know. What languages do you have? I, I've been learning Mandarin for a couple of years. Oh wow! So I speak some Mandarin, but that, that's my best language. I don't speak a lot of anything else. But, a little French, Spanish, German. Wow, that's pretty amazing. Yeah, it's not easy to learn a new language, especially that. 
I'm just taking this little bit here and making it underneath oh. your nails. Getting out all the little mm -hmm. gems. Yeah, usually you'd have a nice service without me hassling you, so you just have to unfortunately put up with that. You gotta so. endure it today. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry if I'm ruining your experience. I do not mind at all. This is a double first experience for me now. Get, getting filmed while getting a pedicure? Mm-hmm. I have not had anything like this at all happen to me before. I've only had one in my life. And the one time I had it, I had it filmed as well, so I know exactly how you feel. A pedicure, really? Yeah. You've only had one? One in my life. Wow. Not even here. I haven't had one yet. No way. I don't want to scare Dorothy or Natalia away, so <laughs> I'm just keeping the toes in the shoes. Okay, so this is the ideal length, but I would prefer to keep it the toenail at. So you do have a large free edge here. So the free edge is just the nail growth. You see like the wider yeah. bit. So anything beyond this is your own personal preference. Again, you do risk the corners poking out as they grow. So we can keep it like this length, but we can go shorter. It's up to you. <laughs> so like she was saying, so this is the only thing about that. There's nothing wrong with doing that, Evan. But anytime when we cut really short like that and the edge of the nail goes low, you can possibly, if you don't file the edge properly, you get a sharp corner and that's how people get an ingrown. So because we're cutting it short and she's right up close, she's going to file that corner to make sure you don't have a sharp edge. But that's one of the biggest problems when people do yeah. cut the nail short is they leave that corner mm -hmm. with a sharp edge and then it pokes into the skin. So as we sew, can we start to clean up the sidewalls? I can really show it to you. But just looking at from a front perspective, your toenail kind of just dips and curls in here. Yeah. So this is, if I don't file out this edge, this is basically an angle waiting to happen. Right, so I'm gonna do my best to file it out, get rid of that side, and just clean up the edges so you don't get that. That's just always a risk when you cut it shorter. Right. Okay. Have you ever had ingrowns before? Mm, not that I, I know. Get some pain or something? Me, yeah. Um, but when I cut my big toenail, sometimes, like I'll, I'll cut it just with nail clippers, right? Yep. That's it. And that corner, I'll just pull it out sometimes because it's <laughs> hanging there. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Everybody pulls out. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know if that, that's probably a big no-no in the tone industry. <laughs> well, you know what they say if you don't pull out the ingrown? You know what they say? I do you not. get an ingrown baby. I was not expecting that. No, <laughs> I, and, I, and I say, I use those ones online. And, yeah. But it's true, it's a little baby ingrown. That's what I tell them. I guess it makes sense. It, ma it makes sense. <laughs> you can, people can take it how they want, but it, I'm, I'm speaking the truth. Right. As you can see, she doesn't react because she's tired of it. She <laughs> hears it all the time. Sometimes I have to laugh because, you know, he writes my check, so. <laughs> 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 yeah. So it's always good time to <laughs> get you to switch for me. How does it how does it feel to have the, the feet in like just soak in and the bubbles and it's really nice. It's like nothing I've had before. Okay, I'm gonna take back down this one a little Similar bit. Similar to so. what I expected actually. Good. That's what we want. So the big thing that we want, because I mean, you're a business guy too, we want to create a great experience, but then add all those hygienic and sanitary factors that really people don't really you know might not know or see the difference or feel the difference but it's there so you get the same experience but then everything's really safe Definitely should learn Spanish. Oh, I love it. It's the most beautiful language in the world. Right? 
Yeah, I had to learn Spanish when I when I met Liane. That's my wife, by the way. Oh, good. Okay. Hola. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna be taking these tools here. I'm gonna be using this guy to kind of clean out the toe jam, any dirt, debris stuff on the sides here, and just kind of loosen up the sidewalls. So if you start to feel too much pressure, any pain or anything, you just let me know. Doing okay? Yep. That's fine. As I'm looking at it, it's like it should hurt, but it doesn't. <laughs> no, that's why the soaking really helps soften everything up. Yeah. And it's so important because we get all this guck in there. And actually, with time, it builds up and can cause pressure or pain. Mm -hmm. Right. Never a bad idea to see any sort of specialist. No. You never know what's good, even if you don't feel anything wrong. You're not a specialist, right? So yourself, so. Exactly. Come and get a second opinion, and even if nothing's wrong, it usually works out. And another reason why I opened uh, a nail salon is a lot of people actually go to a nail salon first rather than a foot specialist, mm -hmm. right? Because they want a, maybe a cheaper option or just want a quick fix. Yeah. And if the nail tech isn't trained properly, doesn't have that information, doesn't have the right tools or equipment, then it can cause more trouble. So that's why, again, like you said, this could be a great first line of defense where you want routine foot care or you want a little quick checkup, at least you can come to a place like this and get a little bit of advice and then decide and they can help decide if you need more help. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to be taking this tool here and I'm going to be filing up your side walls and any hook which you have. So again, if you... <laughs> Sounds well right. But um, no, I think it's just, I think it's one. And what's your mix? My mom's Guyanese. Yep. And my dad is Austrian. Wow, what a mix. And they met in Cuba, actually. Oh my god. What? Yeah. They met in Veradero. Wow. That's a pretty cool mix. So what's the household culture like? What's the stronger one? Has to be the West Indian. <laughs> I mean, or is it even mixed? Uh, I don't know. It's, it's tough to say. I think they're, they're both very unique in their own way. Like, they're not really traditional at all, either of them. Okay. So it's almost like Canadian. It's just like its own its own thing. My dad's whole family is back in Austria, and like half my mom's family is here, so... Usually the family gatherings are all West Indian style. And <laughs> nice. I have a lot of mixed family because my grandfather is married, uh, and yeah, it's, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty normal, I would say, for a Canadian household. So you're a white boy. <laughs> yeah, you know, half, half? Okay, half okay. Mix. But you see, you That's can tell I mean. you're mixed. You can tell you got the mix. Most people say Spanish. Yeah. To be honest, yeah. Good, for sure. And when my hair is this short, you can't really tell because when it's long, it's like curling, it grows out, right? Like an apple. Wow. But not like a, like it's coarse, but it is. So, uh, yeah. so doing okay? Yeah. That feels good, actually. Yeah. This is a nice, actually, it feels good because, you know, you can feel like gut coming out, you feel more space. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and what do we do with that brush after, Dorothy? So we dispose of these. Um, we actually do have ones with our logo on them that say Nails by Tobro. And this is something you can take home. We just sanitize it. We uh, put it in a pouch for you and you can take it home and dust your toes if you need to. Yeah. Yeah, so what's happening with your big toe, you see how she's bending it like that? Mm -hmm. That's exactly what's happening in your shoe and the knuckles rubbing against the, the top of your shoe. Yeah. So... Do you wear Vans, Chucks, anything like like a slow toe box or a, a thin shoe? Not, no, a not really. What I what I wear most of the time is my work shoes, right? Just the okay. normal Kodak steel toes. Gotcha. So it's just probably the steel toes that are, are doing that. Yeah. What you could always do yourself is buff down, buff down the hard skin with like an emery board, 
like a foot file. You know an emery board, like you know what women use for their nails? Oh, yeah, for the balls. Yeah, yeah. Sure. you can use something like that for the top. So now we're going to be applying some cuticle softener and gently pushing back your cuticles. You might feel like a light tingling sensation, ticklish, nothing more beyond that. If you feel heat or sensitivity, just let me know. Are you ticklish? <laughs> Super ticklish? I already feel tickled. Oh, God. <laughs> Doing okay? <laughs> you don't want to completely eliminate or nip out the cuticles. You want to maintain that thin border as a protective barrier so there's no chance of any dirt, uh, dirt debris, any chances of infections to happen at the cuticle. So you will see your cuticle kind of lie around the nail plate, but that's the healthy amount we're trying to maintain.
So you, you're always cleaning the instruments on this side, Ella, but now you get to actually be in the space. How is it? It's very So you're on the manicure side. What what has been, have you had a, a manicure before? I've had manicures before. I had one a couple months ago, but it's not like this. But... What's the big difference? You gotta speak up, little, um, little one. She's been telling me everything she's doing, so I get educated while I'm getting my nails done, which I think is really, really good. Um, are you kind of wishing you could be beside Evan and holding his hand during his pedicure? No. Are you sure? He's a big boy. He's a big he he boy. is a big boy. Very tall. So good for you. Do you stalk his Instagram? No, but uh, I see you. You're, I stalk. No, I don't stalk your Instagram. I see your Instagram. I laugh at your Instagram because your jokes are just so lame. You think my jokes are lame? Your, your jokes are even lame. Okay, tell me, my what, what, jokes are educational. My, my jokes are educational. <laughs> Did you hear about the what happens when you don't pull out the ingrown? You get an ingrown baby. I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's very educational, isn't it true? It's true. It's true. It's true. Oh we'll give you that one. Ingrown baby. <laughs> <laughs> there, there. When the joke hits, there it goes. So some of those things that we can't file off, then we do trim. But we try to reduce cutting any cuticles so we don't open anything up. Right. So that cuticle is, I'll show you my thumb. You see that part right there? Mm -hmm. It acts like a seal. And so what happens is we push that to open or remove it and create that space. We can get a lot of bacteria that can get in there and we can get an infection. Right. So that's why the way Dorothy's been doing it, oh, and we're trimming the toe here. Oh, we're getting that. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> by 
Besides trying to keep the cuticle as intact as possible, it helps um, reduce possible infections. Oh yeah, the fade. How's the massage? Are you using it? It shut off, but it was amazing. Did, did you put on the heat and the vibration? I did not. I'm gonna try you, that right Yeah, now. you can put on, there's a heat and vibration setting. Oh my yards. <laughs> <laughs> Fresh. Just gonna Fresh. adjust the butt rest. It gets too uncomfortable, you let me know. You can extend your foot. We got the long legs. Okay. So again, we're gonna apply the cow softener on this foot. And we're gonna let that absorb. So I'm going to be taking the, this bit here, and it's basically like sandpaper. So I'm going to be carefully buffing down your calloused areas in your entire foot. This bit is very coarse because it's designed to quickly take down the more calloused skin. So around the edges in the center, it's usually when it gets sensitive. When you feel that sensitivity, you let me know. Whenever you feel heat, let me know. But that tells us it's good buff as much of the calloused skin as you can, and more on the fresh skin, then we can't go beyond that. Right. You're ticklish, right? Very. Okay. So I think the center of my feet are fine. I mean, yeah. You tell me. <laughs> no, center of your foot is good. It's usually around the edges I like to do. But if it gets too sensitive around there, just let me know. So the other thing, this is a disposable bit as well. So it's, yes. we use it once and it's gone. Doing okay? Yeah, oh. We'll relax your foot though. <laughs> I can't really. You can't really. <laughs> if, it's, if it's too tense for you, just yeah, relax your foot, no problem. Okay. okay. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> first, first time. <laughs> oh, okay. So getting used to the control too. You doing okay? Yeah. Are you uncomfortable or anything? No, really, I don't know why my foot is Are you nervous? <laughs> no, you think about it, it gets even worse. Yeah. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> I got really sick with foot too there. I know, it's not easy. I gotta like... <laughs> Let me know if you need a break, okay? <laughs> Tell us your secrets. <laughs> Do you love Ella? Tell That's us. That's right. <laughs> you don't have too much palette. Yeah. I, I don't have too much? No. That's pretty good considering yeah. that you're in work boots. Yeah. yeah. All day. 10 hours a day at least. Relax your foot if it's too tiny on you. I was surprised. Like after I, I, I gave my feet a good look when I knew I was coming here, and I was like, oh well, they're not too horrific. Like I thought. <laughs> yeah. I thought they would be like, especially after uh, seeing some of your clothes. <laughs> No, you're not going on the YouTube uh, Tobro page. No, you're on, you're on the good side. Okay. You're on the good side. Okay. You doing okay over here? Yeah. Surprisingly, that actually feels kind of good. <laughs> feels kind of good? Yeah. The top area is a little bit more tickly. Well, you know what it is? I think my foot went numb. <laughs> <laughs> It actually feels amazing. Now it feels good? Yeah. So that's a secret. Numb your foot first and then, then go at it. It literally feels like a numbing job. <laughs> it's just, yeah, it's just that sensation. Really. It's really nice. Thank you. 
part up here. I'm just gonna carefully buff skin. That's a tough patch, right? Yeah. I've tried. <laughs> Apply a little bit more callus softener. And let that absorb and we're gonna buff over it, okay? Okay. Yeah. That's good? Yeah. <laughs> I know it's the hardest part, even yeah, the ticklish feet, sensitive feet. <laughs> You're doing great, we're almost done. So what do you like more, Dorothy, the paddle or the drill? Uh, definitely the drill. It Why? Gets, um, gets the palace areas down pretty quick. Mm -hmm. So it's less uh, physical labor for me. Yep. But it's also, it does the same job. It's, yeah. it's a bit, it's literally impossible to cut a client. You doing okay? Yeah. So, and that's a big thing, right? It's yeah. a lot safer. It's a lot safer. So a lot of other places, and we use a, like a cheese grater or a blade and it can be a little dangerous because it takes off such a large area and you can't focus on one spot so when with the drill bit we can really focus on one spot and again since there's no sharp corners it doesn't really can't really cut someone you might feel heat and then you let us know and then that's as much as we can do but at least it does a, a much safer job and takes just as much off i'm noticing a little bit on this side you see how the skin's feeling here? Yeah. Tell me you need to moisturize a bit more. Okay. Just the top layer, top couple of layers, not so bad. Uh, I don't think I've ever moisturized my feet. <laughs> so I think I need to moisturize a lot more. You do any cream on the feet? Not a. What? Ella's not putting cream on your feet? <laughs> Ella, what are you doing? Uh, you work at a foot clinic mm -hmm. and you have access to foot foam, the best in the world, and you okay. don't put it on? Yeah, okay. Okay. Sorry. I'm just going to plug some water. Give me one second. See, we can pop that liner without having to put your hand in the bowl. It has a cool little handle, and you just air pressure through to drain it. So. You guys really thought of everything? <laughs> Not me, the company. <laughs> Contego, it's a, it's a great company from uh, California. Okay. What was it called? Contego. Contego. One quick little, so post, post pedicure, how you feel? I feel amazing. My feet, they feel clean. Great experience. Look at that. Great. Smooth. Well, I learned so much. And say it like you actually mean it. All in all, it was 10 out of 10. I mean, <laughs> no, you, you did really well. Did it feel weird to get a pedicure? It did. It felt it was, it was there was a lot of new sensations, but yep. they, they all felt great. Would you uh, do it? Would you do it again? 100%. Did you feel awkward being in a place where typically people think it's a woman place to be? 
At first, you know, yeah, but then when you started telling me about all the all the things that you were doing to my feet and how they'd actually help me in the long run with, with the overall health of my, my feet, my toes, I was I was happy. I was happy to be here. Didn't feel uncomfortable at all. Awesome. Well feet look great. You hope you get some of that advice that Dorothy gave you to keep your feet in good shape. And when you need a tune up, that's why we're here. I'll be back. <laughs> and you? It was great. Do you, do you want a pedicure or are you going to stick with just the manicures? Maybe I'll come to a pedicure one day with my mom. Okay, let's see the hands. Nice. Happy with it? Yeah, they look so nice. Yeah, they look great. So now you can um, be that weird person on Instagram you are versus real life. Who doesn't speak? I do speak. See you for your last day Tuesday. Yep. <laughs> that was a going away gift. It's really for myself, so I don't have to see Elegant. It's awesome. <laughs> Till next summer. Thank you, John. You're welcome. You're welcome. Amazing. You're welcome. We appreciate it. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, bye, guys. Now that the pedicure's over, how was it? It was great. Very informative. I uh, learned a lot, and my feet feel amazing. And would you do it again? Oh, yeah, of course. Thank you for coming with me. You were a great sport. Thanks for having me. And thanks, John, for letting us get our nails done. We appreciate it.